Hi, welcome to this edition of the CPN Canon Professional Network Masterclass. I'm David Newton, Technical Editor of CPN, and today I'm going to be talking to you about this camera, the EOS 5D Mark II. This camera really is an evolution and a revolution in the EOS range. It's a mid-range model sitting above the EOS 50D, but below the EOS 1 series cameras. Despite this though, it's more than capable, like its predecessor the EOS 5D, of being used for professional work. This camera is aimed at the social, wedding, photojournalist and landscape markets, and it features a whole host of specifications making it suitable for this. It has a 21.1 megapixel CMOS sensor, a Digic 4 processor, an ISO range that can be expanded from ISO 50 all the way up to ISO 25600. It also features the new 3-inch Clearview LCD display, a 3.9 frame a second shooting speed, a 9-point autofocus with 6 AF assist points, and a magnesium alloy body shell with extended weather sealing. It also has the integrated sensor cleaning system with a new fluorine coating, and of course, the groundbreaking feature, full HD movie recording at 1920 by 1080 pixels. The sensor in this camera is a full-frame CMOS chip. That means it has the same frame size as a 35mm film frame, in other words, 36mm by 24mm. For us as photographers, this has many benefits. Most notably, if you've come from shooting film, you'll find that your lenses behave as expected. They have the same field of view. That's not all, though. A full-frame chip also provides a shallower depth of field than an APS-C chip, which means it's great for portraits. Now, because of the way that digital cameras record light, a larger sensor means larger pixels, and larger pixels can provide a smoother tonal gradation, improving your images. The file size of this camera, 21.1 megapixels, is realistically far more resolution than you're ever likely to need, but having it does no harm. The more resolution you have, the more detail you can capture in your images, and having more detail is always a good thing. If you convert these files to a 16-bit TIFF, you can create about 120 megabyte file. The resolution is so great, in fact, that you could probably crop away about 50% of the frame and still retain enough detail to produce a really good, large A3-size print. 